Hello and welcome to this quick video. This time I'm going to show you some basics of the Blender 3.0 geometry nodes. Some of the nodes are already gone, so we have to do it in a different way, but it's going to be really easy. So let's get started. Start by adding a new mesh. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use a UV sphere. Now that we have the UV sphere, we can create a new geometry nodes tree. The first thing that we need to do is add some instances. To add instances, we need to add the new point on instance. Now I need an object for these instances. I'm going to use this plane. I'm going to extrude this plane and I'm going to use it for this example. Now that I have this plane, I can now go back to the geometry nodes and then drag and drop this plane inside the editor. Now I can connect the geometry socket of this plane to the instances. Now I need a place for this instance. You could either use the UV sphere that we have or we could add a grid. Now I can manipulate the scale of this instance by using the scale right here, which in the last version I needed to add another node to do this. With this grid that I added, I can now add some vertices in X and Y and make it bigger, which is really useful because you don't have to add another mesh like a grid or something like that, like in the past. Now that I have these instances, we can now add another node. Let's say that I don't want the same height for all these nodes. I want to randomize this area. So I'm going to move right here and I'm going to add a scale instance. Now I need to add a random value for this one. So let's add that node, random value. And then I need to add a multiply so I can connect this one to the scale. So let's add a vector math. And switch that to multiply. I need to change this random value to vector, connect the value socket to the vector and the vector to the scale instance scale. And then because I'm just want to use it in seed axis, I'm going to switch this to minimum to one. And now I can manipulate these three vector values inside the multiply and use the max value to move the height in a different way. You could also switch the seat. Now let's say that I want to use an empty as an effector. To do this, I need to add another scale instance. So I'm going to copy this shift D and put it in front of that one. Then I'm going to add a new empty shift A I'm going to use the cube. I'm going to make the empty smaller and move it in X because I just want this area to be affected. Now we could take the empty and drag it inside the geometry nodes editor. As you may know, empties doesn't have verses or faces. So I'm going to use a mesh line to put a, like a point inside this empty. I'm going to change the count to one. Connect the location to the star location. Then I need to tell these instances to react to the proximity of this empty. So I'm going to use a geometry proximity node and connect the mesh line to the target of this new geometry proximity. Now let's add a map range in front of this one to manipulate this proximity. Now I need to connect the geometry proximity distance to the value and then connect the scale of the MT to the minimum of this map range and connect that map range to this new scale. As you can see nothing happens because as I previously say MTs doesn't have faces but we already add like one point. So we need to go back to the geometry proximity and switch that to point. So now we'll be having this empty as an effector 
and we can move this one in any direction and the instances will react to this empty. Okay, I'm going to delete all this area because I'm not going to use it for the next one. Now let's say that instead of this grid, we want to use the UV sphere, the real mesh that we previously add to this scene. So now I can connect the original geometry to the point and we'll be having the instances on this UV sphere. Now, if you want these instances to point on a different direction using the UV sphere normals, we need to add the following nodes. So I need to add a normal node and then we need to align the instances to this normal. So let's add an align. I'm going to add two of these align nodes. Now connect these two align nodes. Connect this last one to the rotation of the instances. Then connect the normal node to the vector of both of these ones. And now we can manipulate this to have them point in the right direction. In this case, I'm going to use for the second one C and pivot X. And the first one will be Y and pivot C. Now, because we are using a mesh, we can create a vertex group so we can put instances in a specific area on top of this mesh. So I'm going to edit mode and I'm going to create a vertex group. I'm going to add a name to this vertex groups and this will be the area to put every instance inside. Now I can take the original skate from the instances, connect that to the group input go to the modifier and then click on this like cross so you could add a vertex group inside this area. I can click here and select the vertex group that I already create. Now I'm using the vertex group to put the instances just inside that specific area. All right, I hope this quick video was useful for you so you could start with this Blender 3.0 geometry notes. Make sure to subscribe hit the like button or dislike and I will see you next time. Bye.